Our 2015 goals for the teen support program focuses on two areas. For teen support bags, we are planning to purchase and distribute 1,000 more bags in 2015. We also plan to increase our hospital and nonprofit partners who distribute these bags to at least 50. We hope to also be able to add another useful item to the bag in 2015. We are also planning to attempt to have three experiential activities for teenagers that are dealing with cancer. In a few instances, we plan to go where the teenagers are, such as the Saturday evening, where we will be at Special Love, which is a weekend camp for young adults and teens with cancer. We are hosting a subway dinner for the teenagers on Saturday, and then we are going to launch Lighted Lanterns <coughs> in honor of them and recognize our upcoming Teen Cancer Awareness Week. I'd now like to introduce Colin Callahan, who is the co-chair for the Teen Support Committee this year and who was also the co-chair in 2014. I'll come over here where the microphone is. Um, so I'm um, very excited to be here. This is my third year on, on, the, uh, on the board of directors <coughs> and third year on the committee. So when you saw that 200, 700 jump there and then 1,000 for this year, that's, that's what we do. And uh, there's clearly a need for it. At the end of last year, we actually got eight more hospitals. We could get another about eight, eight or nine more hospitals. So we always need volunteers, and of course, the real challenge this year is going to be making sure that we get the funds to send the bags to the hospitals that clearly need all those bags. So anything you, you all can do to help and get people involved, that would be great. Um, the, uh, there's a couple of folks who, who showed up or who are uh, an integral part of this. First is that um, you may see in a lot of the pictures as they roll around, you'll see people with Bite Me Cancer t-shirts. And those t-shirts come from, uh, uh, from Tom and Tanya Lake, who are here. They have a company called The, the Locker Room. Can you stand up <laughs> wherever you are? Tom and Tanya, there they are. <laughs> Thank you for your support. And then also, uh, in the bag, we have, um, we have caps that say Bite Me Cancer, and baseball caps. And those are all hand embroidered. Um, and the woman who does that is uh, Claudette Evans. And she, uh, her company is called Inspired Embroidery. Claudette, can you stand up wherever you are? Claudette, maybe she's maybe she slipped up. Well, we'll give her a. She did. Okay. Great. Well, thank you for embroidering and coming <coughs> and visiting. And then, um, of course, I just asked you for uh, for volunteers. Um, if you have time to volunteer or know somebody who'd like to get involved in helping getting the bags going and that sort of thing. And uh, practically before I said it, actually this started at the end of last year, the, um, the Girl Scouts uh, service unit uh, number 54-1, who is the Clifton Centerville area, uh, they are gonna be one of our primary volunteer organizations this year in uh, building the bags because uh, we sort of went to the 700 by accident because <coughs> people wanted them. We think not only did we set a goal at 1,000, but we think we can do maybe 1,200 or 1,500 this year. That's a lot of bags, and they need to be assembled every month. And so having the Girl Scouts come and join us, um, that's great. That actually uh, includes uh, a pool of 355 girls uh, across the area who could come and help us. That doesn't mean we don't need volunteers, but we've got some from that group. So we're glad and thank you for that. Um, so uh, the other thing that was mentioned was the Teen uh, Cancer Awareness Week, which um, is going to happen for the first time in a couple of weeks, the 18th to the 24th of January. And then uh, it'll happen every year on the third week, in the third week of January as a result of uh, a lot of hard work uh, from our, our delegates and support, but also um, the Ferraros and the Foundation in getting this pulled together. Uh, so we're going to take a quick look at, uh, at the kickoff where the signing occurred with, uh, with the governor when he was up uh, with, uh, at, at Tom Russ's office to, to do this process. So we'll show that video and go from there. Thank you. 